It was the Salish people who gave the Okanagan Valley its name, meaning place of water. It was the magnificent lakes that attracted the original settlers and gave them reason to stay and thrive in this beautiful valley. Centuries later, and nothing has changed. The Okanagan is a jewel in the Canadian landscape and draws thousands of visitors every year. Every summer we go to Asaurus for jet skiing, water skiing and just cruising around on the lake. It's a great way to spend part of the day, especially when temperatures are hitting 40 degrees. You can rent speedboats and jet skis and Lake Asaurus is the warmest in the valley so it's perfect for swimming. For golfers you can try your luck at several courses or if you're into it you can go horseback riding or biking and pretend that you're preparing for the Ironman. There are some very good places to stay in the Okanagan and some beautiful restaurants too. So when the sun sets and it's time for dinner, there's plenty of good options. In the Southern Okanagan, my favorite place to come and stay is Spirit Ridge. Just on the outskirts of Osoyos, this place is awesome. Swimming pools, restaurants, and a winery right next door. Fantastic for families, and beautiful wine too. Here we go, awesome. Look at that, look at that. Delicious, thank you very much. They've got beautiful accommodation, lovely kitchenettes and bathrooms and spacious bedrooms. Just make sure that you ask for the villas right at the front where you can walk out to the vineyards and have views of the lake. Another one of my favorite places to stay is Barring Ao. They also have an excellent restaurant where you can have a casual lunch on the terrace or enjoy a romantic dinner in the evening. I love the wine list, which has special bottles of old vintages that you can only buy at the winery. Burrowing Out is also the nicest place to stay in the Southern Okanagan, with spacious bedrooms and a hot tub and pool, perfect for that late night dip. As you head north from Osaurus, you arrive in the town of Penticton, which is the gateway to Naramata. This is the most spectacular part of the valley with dozens of wineries to visit and where you'll find one of my favorite hideaways. We're at the Naramata Heritage Inn and Spa and this is definitely one of the nicest places to stay on the Naramata bench. Very characterful, built in 1908. Lovely little guest rooms with decks and patios. Check it out. It's a very characterful place where you can come and kick back, relax, have a glass of wine, go to the restaurant or the spa and just while away the day. If you're looking for a restaurant in Penticton, then go to my favorite spot, the Hooded Merganza. It might have a strange name, but the views are unbeatable because it's built right on the lake. It's definitely one of the top spots to go for lunch or dinner. There's a fun, upbeat crowd, and you're likely to run into some of the local winemakers. Most people drive right by the tiny lakeside town called Peachland. But if you feel like stopping for a bite to eat, then make sure you go to the guest house. Wine tasting can make you thirsty, and I often enjoy a cold German brew in the beautiful beer garden. It's an old, traditional German restaurant that serves their famous schnitzels, sausages, and an apple strudel that has its very own fan club.
The old vines restaurant at Quailsgate is tucked away in the vineyards with stunning views overlooking Lake Okanagan. Reservations are recommended because it's very, very popular. The chef loves using local ingredients and each dish is paired with one of Quailsgate's wines. So Quailsgate is a must visit winery out in the valley. The Stewart family have created a warm and inviting atmosphere, some excellent wines, and one of my favorite restaurants in the whole Okanagan. Last but not least, in the city of Kelowna, I always stay at the El Dorado, a historic hotel that sits right on Lake Okanagan. I love the character of the place with the odd creaky floorboard and the very comfortable rooms. But truth be told, it's the restaurant that I really enjoy and the bar that can get really rocking on a Friday night. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the Okanagan. Of all the wine regions in the world, it's definitely one of my favorite places to visit. It's not only the exciting progress that the wineries are making, but it's because there's so much else to do here. The scenery is breathtaking. There's a sense of peace and tranquility. And most of all, it's the laid back people that make it so very special. <laughs> <laughs>